Hello and welcome to Diecast Restos. My name is Jason and this is the Matchbox 3B Bedford 7.5 ton tipper, produced by Lesney between 1961 and 1967. Usually they would have a grey cab and a tipper in maroon in varying shades, though these were a dark red by the time production ended. Mine here has been sloppily repainted in white that has discoloured over the years. It is missing the tipper tailgate, while the axles and tipper hinge are rusty. Again, earlier versions had the chunkier tread black or grey wheels fitted, but fine tread wheels were found on later examples. The very first issue also had a grey base plate, though this quickly swapped to the traditional black. Here's a 3B in excellent condition, and here is a Bedford TK truck on which it is based. The Bedford TK launched in 1960 as a replacement for their S-Type model, which had been in production since 1950. As well as tippers, the chassis was used for fire engines, flatbeds, horse boxes, and were used in the military. Bedford, Leyland and Perkins provided the petrol and diesel four or six cylinder engines for the TK. In addition to Bedford's Dunstable plant, TKs were built by General Motors New Zealand at their Petoni plant and also by Holden in Australia. A 4x4 variant was additionally developed called the MK. It was widely used by the British Armed Forces. The TK was produced through to 1986. It was scheduled to be in production until 1981, with its successor, the TJ, already having launched in 1980. However, the TK carried on as a cheaper alternative. When GM sold Bedford's Dunstable factory to AWD trucks in 1987, production restarted on the TK. However, GM would only allow the Bedford name to be used on military vehicles. So, the all-wheel drive Bedford MK now rebadged as the AWD Bedford TK, continued on in production until 1992, when AWD went into receivership. I always like to add in some pop culture references where you might have seen the real vehicles in the media. This one was news to me though. Apparently, the fire engine in the original series of British kids TV show Fireman Sam was a 1974 Bedford TK. There was one other example of the Bedford TK in the Matchbox 1 to 75 range. The 25C petrol tanker that launched in 1964 was also a TK that came fitted with a tilting cab, a feature that was not available on the real TK. Now here's my reproduction tipper tailgate that I'm fitting before priming. It slots into that gap nicely, though the finish is a bit rough which is disappointing, but I'm hoping the prime will cover over that. I lay on the light grey fine surface primer. I keep the tipper bed at an angle to allow the paint on the tailgate to dry. The tipping action is a bit archaic on this model, when compared to the castings that implemented Lesney's hydro sleeve system, or even the plastic block, like on the 1963 Hoveringham tipper. It flaps around a bit and it sits rather loosely on the back of the chassis. The detail here has done its work and loosened up the paint from the plastic wheels. I wash off the last flakes before applying some Citadel Gloss Null Oil to freshen them up. After the primer has set, I apply my first layer of paint. Instead of the dark red, I opt to use Tamiya's TS11 Maroon, which I much prefer. I think the maroon and grey complement one another better than the red. Please excuse the barking dog while I show you my grey application. The TS81 Royal Light Grey is a flat finish incomparable to the original shades. The big wide grille gets some chrome highlighting. Not all versions came with the additional silver trim. It was omitted fairly early on, but all 24 notch tread tyre versions like this had it so I'll add some too. I hammer the axle ends to form a lip to prevent the wheels from falling off. Then I can reattach the base plate piece. That was just too shallow to tap. 
I squeezed the post which holds on the tipper using some needle nose pliers, though I did add a small dab of super glue gel to the end to stop it sliding out. And lastly, I chrome all three axle ends. So this is the messy 3B Bedford 7.5 ton tipper truck which I started off with. It had been repainted all over in white, was missing its hinged tailgate and had some pretty rusted axles. The wheels had been painted over but the painter did a good job on the tipper as I couldn't tell what shade of maroon or red it was previously. This tipper truck was balancing on the edge of saving it or scrapping it. I went with saving it and here's how it now looks. First of all, you'll note it looks wonky and I'm not sure why. The chassis is straight and true, as are the axles and wheels, but I've checked it over several times. I'm thinking it could actually be my turntable. Anyway, other than that annoyance, the tipper truck is revitalised in its original grey and maroon livery, sporting a new tailgate to stop its load being lost as soon as the driver accelerates. The axles have all been de-rusted, with the wheels having been cleaned up after a Dettol bath to remove that paint. The cab section has had some detail added too on the grille and on the headlights. If you've liked this restoration and you want to see more, leave a like and leave a comment, and please click the subscribe button. More so, if you can, support the channel on Patreon. So all that leaves me to say is thank you for watching, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.